Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Um, we have topped out here, which was at the 78.6% FIP level of the larger XRP cycle, yeah, this important box. So we were not able, let's say, to escape the box to the upside. That would have been a bullish signal. You know about, you probably know about my skepticism about this, um, yeah, about this pump to the upside and that for me, those were not enough bullish signals yet. So I'm still, because it's possible and we have not, you know, when you come from a downtrend, technically you are in a downtrend until you invalidate it. And we haven't invalidated it yet. So at the moment, I still, from an Elliott Wave point of view, I still see the low here from the 19th of June as a wave three and the move here that we had all the way up to 56 cents as a wave four, which happened in a WXY pattern. And we then peaked here at the 56 cent level. It currently, to me, looks like in the bearish interpretation that we came down here in a wave one, all the way down to around 46 cents. We retraced in a wave two. You can see that in this retracement, we reached the 61.8% FIP level, which is an ideal FIP level again. And we're now moving down in the third wave. Now, the third wave is normally the most, let's say the most bearish wave. But of course, um, the third wave has various sub waves. So for me to count it like that, um, my view is that we are not yet finished with this third wave. Yeah? Third wave would be somewhere down here. What this was or is at the moment, um, we can count this as a five wave move in itself. So basically a one, two setup in wave three. That means wave three could move down quite a bit. especially if we understand this year as a possible five wave move to the downside, which we can, if I go to the one hour chart, we see the sub waves more clearly. And I can look at this as a one, two. Then we had um, here, the wave three, here the four, and then the five down. And this in itself would then be a wave one, yeah? of the wave three. So I'm not, so you, you know the sub waves now, I'm just gonna take that out, otherwise we get a bit overwhelmed, but we say, okay, this was then the wave one. Currently the view would be, this is wave two. We have three waves currently. I would change my view if we get above the, um, I think it's, let me see, I, I'll get back to you in a minute about that. I think 51 cents, then I would change my view, but until then we can look at it like that, okay? so. Where are we now? So if we say this was or is a one, two setup, then the point is that we should ideally not get, ideally not get above 50 cents. So the 78.6% FIP level here, and we can move higher, but above 52.1 cents, this setup will get invalidated and something else is going on. Um, you can currently see that the movements that go to the upside there are quite strong. So what I cannot rule out at the moment is that this is something more bullish here with XRP. But for me, it is at least not likely yet. As for me, you know, to believe this, something much more bullish would need to happen and we would need to break above that swing high here. So we would need to break above the 56 cent level for me to really believe that something much more bullish is going on here. Um, until then, my view would be that we are yeah, coming down lower and the again, the invalidation would be the 52 cent level. Now, nevertheless, I'm going to show you a possible bullish interpretation as well, because it has the move up has impulsive characteristics. And the move down here was not yet impulsive enough for me to convince me completely that, yeah, we are heading down lower. This is my primary expectation. But of course, you can also interpret this in a different way. And 
the move up here is certainly interesting. But again, we have only moved up in three waves at the moment and we are not yet, we have not yet broken above the wave too high. So that impulsive move to the downside here highlighted in five waves, still very much possible. So I'm going to show you the bullish interpretation in a different color. Um, or basically I'm gonna show it to you from the low here. So we can say in the, okay. So in the bullish interpretation, we would say that this year was a wave one to the upside. Again, a diagonal pattern. This year, a wave two to the downside. We then have another one, two setup here. We have another one, two setup here. And here it's getting unrealistic. And then we would have to have another one, two setup here, which means one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, four, one, two setups. You know that they are not to, if you have so many one, two setups, it could prime this chart for something super bullish, but it always is a warning that it might not work out. Now for this one, two setup then, the, the latest one, yeah, you can see that we retraced all the way down to the 78.6% FIP level at 41 and a half cents. And from here, we are currently reacting very, very bullish. So, you know, this is certainly a possibility and I would make this scenario then my primary expectation, I think, if we break above the 56 cent level. Then I'm going to make the bullish case here the primary one. And that means that, um, yeah, this year was a wave one, this year then a wave two, which has possibly bottomed here and that we're currently already moving up in a wave three. Now I can give you a target for that as well, but again, this is getting a bit, um, shall I say, yeah, unrealistic, you know, with four, one, two setups, we saw it before, didn't work out on other charts, but target would be 76 cents, yeah, for that third wave, which is now coming up. But I'm skeptical about that. Primary wave, uh, expectation would be down, but um, I think as we talk here, we're already pumping. So yeah, the 50 cent level is already the level that will increase the probability for the bullish case. But then the move above 52, it's actually 52 here. This wave too, yeah, if we go above that 52.2 cents, then also that imminent impulse down will be invalidated, which doesn't mean we go bullish, but it means it doesn't work anymore as it is. Then again, we need to consider that 56 cent level. And if we go above that, we can focus more on the bullish case. So hopefully that helped you to give you an orientation of where we are. Um, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.